With Riverside, you can record high-quality video or audio-only content, both solo and with remote guests, and put it all together using the Riverside Editor. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to record that high-quality content and what makes Riverside different from other platforms to make sure you look and sound the best whether you're doing video or audio only. Go to riverside.fm and then click the Login button in the top right corner. Here you can log in multiple ways, including your Spotify for Podcasters account, or if it's your first time, click Sign Up down here. Once you've logged in, you'll see your Riverside Studio. By default, this studio will record video and audio, so let's look at that process. I'll click Go to Studio here in the top left, and now we're in the Riverside Lobby. This is where you choose your camera, microphone, and speaker devices. Here under my video preview, I can click webcams, use my iPhone and continuity camera, or even use video switchers. Then I can select my microphone. That could be a USB microphone, audio interface, or the built-in microphone on your device. I'll choose my speaker output, and then on the left, I'll put my name and whether or not I'm using headphones. This is important because without headphones, we'll need to use echo cancellation to make sure your remote guest doesn't feed back into your microphone. If you are using headphones, click I'm using headphones and then join studio. Now that you're here in the studio, you can start recording solo right away. Just click the record button here at the bottom. But let's invite a remote guest and we'll both be recorded locally in high quality video and audio and we can edit those files later. I can click the guest link right here, send it to someone and they can join me in the studio. You can also click the invite button here at the top and that stays there all the time. Copy the guest link here and they just have to open that guest link in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge to record. Once your guest clicks that link, they'll see the same lobby screen where they choose their camera, microphone, and speaker, whether they're using headphones, and then they can join the studio. Now that my guest has joined the studio, I can start recording just by clicking the record button down here at the bottom. We'll get a countdown, and once that hits zero, both me and my remote guest are being recorded in high quality video and audio. And that's the Riverside difference. We record those video and audio files locally to each device whether that's your computer or if you use the Riverside app on your iPhone, Android, or iPad device. Those local files mean it's not subject to bandwidth blips or freezes in the call. Even if you see a little pixelation or blurriness here during the live call, you and your remote guests are recorded in high quality locally, apart from the internet, and those local files are then uploaded so you can access and download them later. When you're done recording, just click the stop button down here at the bottom, and then Riverside is gonna finish uploading those video and audio tracks that were recorded locally to your Riverside dashboard. When you're ready, you can access those files just by clicking view recordings right here. After just a few minutes, those video and audio files will be processed, and then you can go in and download those individual tracks. Scroll down and you'll see both you and your remote guest, click the high quality button, and then download that raw video or raw audio file right here. But an even faster way to put it all together is to jump into the Riverside Editor by clicking the Edit button in the top right corner. Here the Riverside Editor puts it all together, you and your remote guests side by side, plus any screen shares and media board files, and you can export up to 4K quality right here from Riverside. Now if you wanted to record audio only content, you can go to the same studio you used before and simply click the camera icon to turn it off. You'll still be recording high quality audio files both for you and your remote guests. But if you prefer to create an entire studio to just record audio, I'll click Create New Studio using the plus icon here. Let's call this our new podcast, and I'll toggle on the record only audio right here. We'll create this new studio, and now whenever we go to the studio to record new content, even though we see the camera as a preview, it will only record the audio content. But we can turn off the camera if we'd like. I'll say I'm using headphones, and let's join the studio. And now there'll be no video either seen or recorded in this studio, but you still get that high quality audio file. And whether you're the host for the call or a remote guest, you can use the Riverside app on iPhone, Android, or iPad to create, record, preview, and export video files all from your device. Riverside makes it easy to record both high quality video or audio only content, and those local recordings sets Riverside apart, giving you the highest quality content possible. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video or reach out to the team. And if you want to learn more about the Riverside Editor and how you can put your content together in minutes, check out this video right up here. And if you're looking to upgrade your setup, maybe get a dedicated webcam or high quality mirrorless camera, maybe a new microphone, check out this video right here where I walk through my setup and equipment for all budget levels. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll hear about new Riverside features right here and further tutorials and walkthroughs. Hit that like button and thank you for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.